Man, you really suck at this. Okay, man. we're going to be making a raid comp guide for phase three now that we've done our DPS tier list discussion and our tank and healer G our tier list discussion. We're going to quickly go through everybody that's here, go in the changes that happened tonight, go over those real quick, look at our tier lists for reference, and make our ideal comp for Prague. Uh, I just want to specify it is for Prague. If you are on Alliance and you still have a pre-quest guide, I have a pre-quest guide that will be linked in the description. But for now, let's get on with introducing people. So, what? Wait, hold on. Go back to that thing. What the fuck was that disgusting ass shit at the top right? What are you doing? It's the, the link to the that? tier list. Is that your, is that your form of art? Okay. I'm ready. Are we rolling? So let's Jeez. get over who the heck is talking in this to. I'm getting excited. So, so we have Dines in mean. here. We have Cal Rizzi oh, in here. Right. We have. Who else is in that 98 you were booned for. Side up. Yeah, I booned on my 98, guys. It was, it was an accident. <laughs> that ain't me, bro. I don't know. Just go now. No, his name is Jizz2. There you go. Jizco. Congratulations. <laughs> there you go. Nice, dude. He's we have enslaved if he wants to talk. Yo, whoever, whoever's logged in. No, Spy Mage, bro. Hey, yeah, good point. It is Spy Mage, wait, actually. Because if I just mage this fetch. Yeah, man, we got a fucking. Oh, look at that juice! What team is he on, man? Bro, I oh, feel like this nine. fucking this podcast is is about us flexing our dicks every time it's we to... fucking get on here, man. Why are we? Uh... You're not wrong, dude. Yeah, are we we're establishing that we have people we that know what they're the talking people? about. All right. No, you were next. Really I'm going down the list. Yeah. You know why that? did you skip no, this game? That is my. Don't show it. Don't show it. Don't show it. Okay, fine. I'll look at this one. XLS, yeah, I mean, XLS. All right, skip the paladin section in the, in the video. Okay, I'll fuck no, XLS. XLS. Hey? XLS is uh, his main, bro. Yeah, yeah. dude. Wait, you forgot my mage. Okay. We have nice, lemon nice. shape. Yeah, we lemon. We have mini Let's brain. Go, lemon. Oh, times two. He's got he's got ults. Iron Sadie, ults if he wants you know? to speak. <laughs> Bro, this I'm going through the much, fact bro. that we have you a lot of people for that play out. all different clients. Oh my damage. Oh my damage. People are gonna sit on YouTube looking yeah, for rate costs and then you're watching a fucking dickhead. Okay, this is people who are in here who can talk. Okay, so uh, there's those. Here's our comp. Tier list currently, and let's get into the changes that we've. That, well, let's the let's the go into the changes so real quick before we show that. So quickly, efflorescence. Since we last talked has been changed from every two seconds for 30 seconds to being every one second for 15 seconds as well as the spell power modifier went from 0.08 to 0 0.06 hunters just had some i'm pretty sure that's absolutely nothing uh missile barrage went from all of this to just frost bolts hammer of wrath is now instant got added to improved hammer of wrath uh shadow priest got their void zone buffed by actually quite a bit um, Shadow Flame for Warlocks got buffed by quite a bit. Uh, and that's pretty much it for actual changes. Let me just ask Enslaved, do you think this does anything for Shadow Flame? Or Mini Brain? Are they here? No? Doesn't do anything? Okay, for Shadow Priest, this is actually possibly pretty big. Um... Let's look at the tier sets real quick that got added. So for cloth, you have a three-piece bonus that's e that is your damage spells have a chance to cause your target to take up to 50 increased damage from subsequent spells. You have a warlock-specific one for warlock tank. Dealing damage with shadow cleave reduces the cast time of your next immolate spell by 50%, stacking up to two times last 12 seconds. And for priests, they get your holy damage spells cause you to gain 60 increased damage and healing power for 15 seconds. Yeah, very juicy. You are yeah, either are we? warlocks here, here right now, or are they chilling? Hi. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hey, I'm here. So that's going to be pretty big, um, especially with the Conflag. Uh, Conflag is going to give us 30% haste when we use it, so... With us getting consistent pushback from Emulate and that, it'll be pretty nice. 
so we'll have the uh, basically a bloodlust here in that time frame. Okay, short. You want to talk about the holy damage tier set? Yeah, absolutely. So the healing isn't a main priority in most of these raids. So most of the time we're filling in with smites and other damaging spells. So this is just a nice little bump that we can see while doing our rotation and not just sitting there waiting cool. to heal someone. And for the actual caster ones, I'll say for Shadow Priest, this is actually pretty huge simply because our cooldowns, like our actual spells, are all GCD, which means compared to Major Warlock, we're going to be getting this off at least a second faster constantly. Um, simply because our cooldowns are all 1.5 and I think incinerates a two-second cooldown and then, or not cooldown, you know what I mean, um, cast time and... In, I think Fireball is 2.5 with the reduced, so this definitely will help Shadow Priest quite a bit. Uh, what about Mages and Warlocks? You guys want to comment on that? Is this nice for you guys? Mini Brain? Enslaved? Well, for this set? set? The... For that set? I mean, that's the... No, no, no. Your damage and spells have a chance to cause set. your target to take... A to 50 increased damage from subsequent spells. That's the... Yes. Oh, the top one? Yes, I mean, it, it's obviously good. We'll see if it... Anything jump out? I think Fade is muted, so... Shade, Lemon, is anything good about this for Mage? Because I know that Scorch is not going to be very amazing, so you're not going to spam that, probably. Yeah, it's definitely less good for Mage, I think, than Spruce, like you said. I forgot Scorch is, I think, level 46 yeah. or something, yeah, so we'll probably be using Fireball. This is this the is new the tier, tier set, so they changed that. The um, yeah, we'll, we'll get no, to good. They, they need yours. Also, has changed, so we'll get that in a second. You actually might like it. Um, Druid, let's yes. see. Critically heal, critical spell, critical strikes now have a fifty percent chance to activate Dream State, which is the Druid seat one, which is increases Druid. your fifty. Uh, Pretty much their healing spells will have a 50% chance to grant them 50% of their mana regen while casting for 8 seconds. Pretty nice. Um, let's see, 2 piece bonus for Balanced Druid. Pretty much they get 3% extra critical hit chance on Wrath and Starfire. Decent. Uh, do we have a Feral Druid in here? Not right now. Shred reduces the mana cost of your next Shapeship cast within 10 seconds by 30%. That's pretty nice for power shifting. Precise Claws imp improves your chance to hit with all spells and attacks by 2% while in Baron Dire Bear forms. So that'll be nice for tanks, I guess. Feral tanks. For That's actually big yeah. on the Shred. That's actually pretty nice. Holy like, fuck. really. Dude, they'll be able to power shift a lot insane. more. Uh, for Rogues. A bit more. No, for Rogues, I think it's even bigger because they get a three-piece bonus that is backstab and Sinister Strike cause the target to take seven more damage from all targets for 30 charges or for 15 seconds. Yeah, we like that, baby. Backstab and Sinister yeah, Strike what? cause the target to take seven more damage from yep, all yep, sources yep, yep. for 30 charges or 15 seconds. I assume it's going to refresh it every single time that they use Backstab or Sinister Strike. And I would assume because it's backstab mutilate benefits from this but i don't know and the same same thing for sinister strike would go to um saber slash yeah saber slash that's what i would assume uh, but bro just I think it was our... S -tier, baby we we, we we can look at this again <laughs> like once we're done with this we might change move some stuff around maybe um well remember this is yeah actually so, true, true, true. that is prog. Yeah, the, the good point good point ones were for prog, um right? so... we'll make our farm tier list later when we actually know the raid uh, for yep. shamans, yep. three piece bonus for rest of shaman reduce the cast time of healing rain by a hundred percent. I don't think that really matters too much because I don't think healing rain was particularly amazing. Um, I could be completely wrong, but it's pretty nice for like just random. So, and I guess it, it makes it better because it's just instant cast. I guess now. Um, let's see. Momo, sorry to interrupt. The rogue one is that raid wide or or, or uh, party wide? It's just it's, it's on target. It's the on the target. Part? It's like a debuff. It's on the debuff. So, so basically raid wide. Uh, that's sick. Um, Wait, hold on. I wonder if it's so only is melee. Is it though. stack? I have no idea. Would it stack? We would <laughs> have to figure that out. But. Didn't you say that my fucking. Yes. Uh, the so we're about to get there. Similar to this? You think it's spell damage too? It's just all damage. damage. Seven more damage okay. from all sources for 30 charges or 15 seconds. Oh. Uh. 
Oh it's yeah. Definitely juiced for melee. See, this is what I'm thinking damage. when I hear that. It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be like, oh, oh my three piece proc. All right, everyone, stop DPS. Everyone, stop DPS. Okay, let me get all the charges hit. All right. I think no. I think every single time that they used either the backstab and if it works with melee and center strike and if it works with saber slash, I think it's gonna refresh it. So I don't think there's gonna be any issues with running out of charges. I would assume, but yeah, I think it's probably or long. that or. That is, or yeah, they're okay, just well, waiting then. for as soon as it runs out, they're going to have to instantly mutilate or whatever the heck and try to time that or something. Um, okay. That's probably like 70 yeah. DPS. Hunter Shaman tier set. Dealing fire damage over time, aka okay, ammo trap, uh, explosive trap, flame shock. Causes you to gain 7 attack power, stacking up at 10 times, lasting for 20 seconds. Pretty decent but it, i guess it kind of requires you to use your traps and if you're not really taking that rune it's not really amazing for hunters for shamans it's pretty nice though um Wait, hold on is there a is there down a here melee oh no that is the melee hunter there supposed to be a separate okay this is the and one what? for melee hunter <clears throat> this is the one for ranged hunter oh there's no shot Wait, I'm ammo trap because no, they don't. Hunters don't use trap so... hunter. <laughs> I'm, wait, wait, hold on. What do I lose here? Let me let me pull up my shit real dual quick. Dual wield spec. I lose yep. dual wield specialist. What the fuck are they thinking, bro? So that? I'm gonna have to faint. I'm basically yeah. going to faint trap. Yeah. Oh, this, well, this that's your melee cool. hunter set because the other one's pure range. Um. Bruh, hold on. Million fire damage. Yeah, I mean, so hold on. He what just about fame trap, my... dude? Yeah, but what about deal? what about dragon about chili? Does that count as fire? No, damage? fire damage. Well, fire damage over Probably. time, so I assume it has to be a dot. Yeah. yeah. So it's your Fuck, ammo dude. trap. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's ammo only because explosive isn't a dot. No. Not an... Oh yeah, it's just it ammo. It's like a ground effect. Dude, what kind of dog shit fucker made this? <laughs> What? That's your melee hunter your one. Melee. Um, okay, so let's move. Let's move on. Shaman and paladin. Two piece bonus changed from hit to crit. Uh, I assume that's just one percent. Um, and a three piece for holy is increases holy spell crit strike chance by three percent. And for pa or for shaman, it is chance on spell cast to increase your nature spell damage and healing by up to sixty for ten seconds. Holy cow! Okay, that's really nice. Like, chance on spell cast to increase your nature spell damage and healing by up to 60 for 10 seconds. What's the cloth one again? 50. Well, that's... No, no, no. That's causes your target okay. to take up the 50 damage sure. from subsequent spells. So it's slightly worse. I guess it, it does more, but it's like... Yeah, no, it just does well, more. We're never going to get to this rate uh, comp okay. at this speed. Holy I think, that one has, uh, I think we're going to have to make a separate video with the actual rate comp. The video, Shaman right? looks like it has the eternal cooldown. so probably This video is now turned to just talking about changes. It's probably right, like once every okay. 40, 50 seconds, as opposed to the mage one. Probably, yeah. Non -stop. Okay, uh, Hunter, Rage Hunter set bonus. Reduce the cooldown of your rapid Broken. fire ability by two minutes. That sounds really nice if the fight's Broken. longer than three minutes. <laughs> no... So it's broken because we get a we get a rune headshot yep. rune that that also decreases it by two but, minutes. So basically, that puts rapid it's fire be, one minute. Yes, but it's going to be good up until the point where the fights are one minute long. And you're like, Correct. Whoa. Yeah, it's super super broken on any long fight, like really like, really broken. But the thing is with this Saito is this is what's going to happen. The fight's going to come down to one minute, and then you're going to be like, okay, well at this point I want to join a shittier group. That has a minute and ten second kill time. I could get a better, you know, like it's correct. Be that or you got to think about the implications of uh, of it in speed running, right? It's so broken in speed. Oh running. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can agree with that because every minute you're just gonna be popping a rapid. Like we won't even compete with some dude who's doing that <laughs> in a speed run on trash every minute. Like that's crazy, you know. That's just so many more shots over a whole entire raid. Yeah. True. I actually think I think that the uh, the ammo trap one is pretty cool. Um, it, it forces you to play a certain way. Um, 
and then you're getting 70 attack power out of it potentially, right? But move on. I, I think both are really good. I feel like the fucking melee, the quote unquote melee hunter one is going to be more used for the range hunter. Mm. Like, I like true. Unless that, unless that is tied to some stupid strength like items, right? I think well, that's way better for ranged hunter. I think the ranged hunter is forced into taking the other set because it's pure agility. Um, so wait, hold on. You're telling me that this, uh, can you hover over the ostracized berserk battle mail? 20 attack power, two piece. Real quick? It says, this... right, if you were to click on that, if you were to click on it, what are the stats on that? Yeah, set? For, on for that. reference, the 20, 20 attack power, because... this one has 24 ranged attack power. Um, nice string. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is the melee shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah, these guys are bozos. And this man. one gives you just pure agility, yeah. And yeah, then what's, what's the other one? That's what we just said, strength. Size. What are the stats on it? I can't that's remember. Strength, agi. It's yeah, the melee. So you guys that one. Yeah. So you're going to have to, you're, you're going to literally have to troll your damage in order to improve your damage. Okay. Right. Plate sets. A uh, new three-piece bonus for Paladin. Yeah. Horn of Lordaeron reduces the cast time of your next two Holy Light spells by two by 0. 0.2 seconds. That's not bad. Wasn't Horn of Lordaeron mm. that one rune that like, uh, I we mean, were ever using? Holy, Holy Paladin might, might actually use that. Um, there was also a... They use Divine Storm, so like... <laughs> Let me read that again, though. Horde of Lordaeron reduces it Point two by your next two Holy Lights. So, but you're going to have to cast a Holy... You're going to have to cast a Horn of Lordaeron every fucking... But I don't understand. Who made these? No, this He's has to be that. like fake numbers, bro. Like, you're telling me you have to do... All right. Horde of Lordaeron. Uh, holy, oh. holy. Horde of Lordaeron. Holy, holy. Like, no, no, what? no. The, the buffs last for the entirety of the phase. I mean, for for the whole two minutes. But read so, it. It says it for the next two casts. So so you, wow. So you have to reapply it every third. Spell. It also like, says fuck? if you if you read horn of... exclusive with blessing of might. Yeah, I understand that, but yeah, so the people this, is so, this has to be wrong. This has to be the wrong. Spell well, that that's what it is. This. Uh, this doesn't make sense. There was another room that reduces your um, holy light True. as well. Uh, moving on, warrior and paladin, new three piece bonus gives you a five percent chance to gain an extra attack on the same target after dealing damage with your weapon. How you like that, Jervis? That shit is broken. cracked, your, bro. Sorry, your three piece bonus is, is gives insane. you a five percent chance to get an extra attack on the same Hold target. On. Did this shit come out? Hold on. Did this shit? Yo, this shit came out on April Fools. Are we really fucking? Cancel the phase. Cancel the are phase. We... Yeah, really this was like this the actual. Cancel shit, the phase. Wait, okay. So would would you be able to proc Wind Fury on that yeah. extra attack you're getting? Yeah, of course. Yes, you can. 100%. That's fucking crazy. No, no, no. Dude. This has to be fake, bro. This has. I'll to tell be you fake. why you can. Right. Hodge was the best trinket forever because yeah, of the proc true. chance, and it was way less than five percent. True, Hodge is broken. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Okay, and, I see that. This and is, the spec this is insane. in arm that Arms Warrior took that made Arms Warrior any viable whatsoever was the sword specialization, which is five percent. So now, now imagine you Hodge with this though, bro. That's it. Actually, insane. right. Imagine I mean, Hodge with this with melee hunters, right? We're we're still gonna take it. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, you. I mean, melee hunters will. You, want you're to you're forced change, into this because it's now it, it requires certain classes, so you're not allowed to take the mill one. You're well, not allowed to take to the leather one. Wait, can you do that? Which hover one? again? Can you hover over that again? That is the wailing insane. berserker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> Keep it there. Good. All right, but listen here. This is what I'm thinking. Short fight. You're gonna be now. Warrior is basically just like a hunter, right? We're rolling the fucking dice here as a casino slot machine. Can I nah. get my crit? Can I get my can I can can I get it? What? Nah, one extra attack not gonna do that. But, yeah, but Fury 5%. is definitely juiced, even more juiced now. Cause I would, I'm glad they added this stuff because the set was like really not much better than the, at least for Warrior was like barely better than the than the Gnomer set. But with that, it's fucking crazy. Okay. 
The only thing I'm thinking of, if it's a short fight, you're just going to be, like, begging for procs. And that doesn't feel fun. I mean, it's not like it's not like Hunter where you can't press the ability without the proc. It's just extra damage. You probably won't even notice when it happens. True. And then you'll check afterwards and be like, ah, oh, fuck, I only got one proc or whatever. Yeah. But that but is that, That's not a good gameplay design, right? It doesn't, like, change how you play. A good gear set, I mean, it, it changes how you, you fundamentally play. It depends, right? I mean, I'm not a huge fan of, like, Grub and Vis style fights where, like, if I get one execute dodge, it's 200 DPS difference, like, and you're just rolling the dice. But I yeah. guess if you have consistency and you do the same shit every fight, eventually you'll catch the procs and then you'll you'll get the crank. So I guess so. I don't okay. know. It's definitely not as RNG based as as Melee Hunter though, where you you can't even press the ability if the if the cooldown doesn't reset. Okay. Lastly, we have Warrior. That's sick. Can you make a tier higher than S now? This for, is for, for Prog anyways. You won't have this for Prog. Um, more like the raid comp and the tier list is for Prog. Um, last tier set is the tanking tier set for Warrior and Paladin, which has gained 50 block value for 6 seconds after blocking. Not bad, but a lot of tanks already have a rune that literally just makes them defense capped already. Or that's hit block value, my bad. So actually, it's not terrible. It's just not amazing. I mean, regardless, where your tank is going to go, the other side. True. The well, hit. 50 block value is pretty fucking crazy. Well, you can hit. Thing is how, like, currently, what is a, a shield? A, literally, a shield has, like, what? Like, a block value of 30-ish, right? Currently, in this phase? So you're basically just adding an extra You can hit from both two pieces. Yeah. Pretty crazy. But... Regardless, though, I mean, when it comes to at least warrior tank, because that's all I'm speaking on, I don't know about Paladin, you want that extra hit for more TPS, even if it is Agreed. a little. Yeah. Oh, I see, yep. Yeah. But you're going to rock the... Oh, yeah, you're... Yeah, I can see what you're saying. You're going to be tanking with that 5% uh -huh. extra attack fucking thing, or what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I see that. Okay, other changes, a little bit buffs there really the only big change that i wanted to mention for the raid comp thing is that the fist weapon from nomergon is only going to be working for its basically curse of the elements buff on enemies 45 and lower aka it will not be giving that elements but uh debuff in sunken temple which is unfortunate yeah nah keep it a stack Nobody the enchanting sigil got buffed by about 20 damage uh and 20 pa attack power and that's not for progs so we're not going to cover that so how many how many um how many warlocks will we need i guess if you go with that eye thing we won't need need it depends uh, on how it works so, but... so we don't know how the eye we don't know if it's going to be completely random and it's only going to apply one buff we don't know if you're going to do like one buff every 10 seconds we don't know if you're going to like pre-pick a buff before you do it we, we have no idea we just know that the options like the possibilities are tongues elements and shadow that's it so it really depends on how it works so at least that could that could take care yeah i think they're going to give all three but i think that takes care of the whole um, the fist weapon yeah. thing. But yeah, it will. No, no one was gonna run fist weapon. Okay, so how do we want to start at this raid comp? Go with the melee. First okay. The melee what do we want? Tanks. Tanking. Uh, I elect uh, demonology warlock and prop paladin for alliance. For alliance. Yeah, demonology. The demonology. Put, put the, yeah, let's yeah, put yeah. the horde groups down below. Which... <laughs> So for demonology, you would have that actually in group three with the casters. Sure, sure. Agreed. For the pack. And then what about for horde? Horde does what? Demo warlock and three shaman. Enhance. Is it? Did we put enhance so freaking low though? Like enhance got so gutted for tank because remember it can't run dual wield anymore. It got omega yeah. gutted. Rock biter got. Re yeah, but are we yeah, talking prog? prog? Are we talking prog? Or are we talking like what? Or didn't Rock Butter get nerfed be like, like 90%? Like you weren't going to run, you weren't going to run, you weren't going to yes, run but dual wield on Prog Rock anyway, got nerfed right? like, like just... 90% now. So what would you do? You would do a Warrior? Rogue Tank? What else could we, what um, we do? Druid? 
Um, I mean, maybe. I'm I think it's still Shaman, to be honest. I still think they're going to rock in hands. I think they still have too much mitigation and a lot of threat. Okay. Nerfs. I mean, now now let's talk about our third backup. Put put the prop pally in group one. Let's talk about our our backup. So let's say that these two, for whatever reason, these are the perfect main tanks. Let's just say, what would be the third tertiary tank for each Warrior. of them? I think, personally, I think... Oh, the yeah, I broke in one here. I think they're really... I feel like there's going to be some type of last minute uh, fucking enrage, 20%, thing goes nutso, tanks cannot tank anymore, and now the rogue can evasion tank and basically just be laughing. The problem with the rogues, of course, is their magic mitigation and AoE threat, so... Nothing has really changed for that. Yeah, I'm just thinking more like big, big boss go, you know, Doug, then we need something to basically just evasion tank. You could just have the rogue do that without tanking them. I guess you're right. <clears throat> yeah, no, you're right. I mean, if we're strictly thinking about prog, I mean, prog war Warrior? definitely isn't out of the question. Just I agree. Just with just how their kit is, they have the most quote unquote cooldown. Yeah, sure. Put a put a prop. prop I'm just gonna put Fury Prot because it's like or or Fury Prot because they can like they'll probably be Fury and then if they're needed they'll change to Prot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how Blizzard is changing the Prot Warriors? They're they're making them have a shield, so you're not gonna see as much. Uh, well, Fury no, what it, what it, yeah, what I, I mean is like, like they're looking to play Fury and then if they have to switch they go to Prot because it's oh, dual spec. Okay. We'll have dual spec. So, that's what it would be. Are we good with these tanks? Yeah. Okay, how's it looking yeah, for healers? So. I think we can all agree with double disc, right? Yeah, double disc for sure. Double disc holy. I disc think. holy, disc holy not double disc. Why? Yeah. Definitely have a holy. Well, I think we agree we're running for, right? Yeah, yeah, four healers. Four healers. Why? And you do a double like a disc oh, so like, and, a, and a holy pally. Like that. Well, you can't put a holy pally in oh. their group. Oh, sorry. Yeah, they have the safe that's symbol holy on them. It's like that. All right, now put a holy and then pally, for them, it's yeah, going to be rest okay. of shame. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. But then now make sure you put the, the rest okay, or else the, all those guys are going to get upset. In the comment section. Don't worry. I, well, I thought we only druids. wanted to balance your. Tr Don't say you forgot the druids. No, no, no. But I'll put like a resto kid in the fifth group. Just you do don't, it. You don't rock both. I just rock one. I you think no. Care. I think it's the balance druid for here for alliance for. I think for alliance. Alliance yeah. for sure. Balance you need. Thousand percent. Yeah, I think you still. So, real quick, why? Oh, no, why holy? Because I, I know you guys talked about it, but like why? It's just strictly better. I think that it's strictly better than a Resto Druid. It has more flexibility. It has higher, like, single target healing in a pinch. Or you can go to circle. You can get great targeted group healing, just like Wild Growth. I think overall, they're just better. Extra dispels. At, at pure healing. No, damage healing is different. Yeah, it is Prog. So we don't really care as much about damage from healers. But, yeah. I think there's some tech that can be used with the, the holy, thing? yeah, the yep. holy run. Okay, we good with healers like that. Just have a balance over here. I can just say resto kin or something. Do you want resto kin for alliance or no? Yeah, resto kin. Yeah, they would have 100%. to run a lot of growth just in case. Do we need that with four healers? I, don't, I think I don't just to have it available it. for prog yep. in a bad it says situation. Says ultimate fuck up. Yeah, on fire. Man, that set bonus is juice, okay. boys. Let's go to melee. Let's go for alliance. You're gonna need both yep. barrels in both groups. Yep. Two barrels, agreed. For horde, you could just yeah. you could do enhance in both groups. So one tank, one. Right. From down there, that'll be just our wind fury area. You need a warrior in both groups. Yep, warrior both groups, agreed. Multiple. Gonna need a hunter, hunter both groups. What kind of Martian? <laughs> Marksman Hunter in both group. Yeah. Okay. 
and now you need a rogue in both. Well, well, I, I think it. we have a rogue at least yeah. one rogue per uh, raid. You need, at you least need one rogue minimum. Minimum. Yep. Yeah, just just the one, one rogue, and then three more warriors in those. I one. don't agree with that. What are you gonna fill group two with on the top? What do you think? Well, I would like to know if that uh, chair answer. set. Oh, I guess the chair set doesn't matter because it's prog. Um, I mean, do we ever bring a rat? That's what. What are our blessing we options? Do we want three blessings? Uh, three... We wouldn't need it because so we do cells. Prog, right? We do wisdom slash might. You can do. Oh, uh, you have salve already though. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right? So I'm saying we're up for current ones. Currently, we have Cell from Holy, and then we have Wisdom slash Might. That's up. Yep. We so don't need things. Two, two is mandatory, so you just fill those with warriors. But uh, for the core team, you, you you need. What do you need? No, you don't need. You already have the marksman there, and they don't even have a rut because. So we don't care about rut none. Yeah. Um. No. I think we do care about the rep because I remember talking about this in our other video. There's going to be bosses that are undead, which are going to probably make them, honestly, one of the stronger melee classes. They also bring an insane toolkit, extra judgment on the boss, extra... Uh, they bring mana back, you know, I think, because I think they're going to be running Mara extra, yeah, 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 and then also, um, you know, extra uh, flash of light, the, the cleanses if you need them. Um, what's it called? The uh, everything you the said, ability, we don't the... we don't really need because we already have other classes that fill that role for him. With the extra blessing, you already have two powies that can do that. Plus, the purges, we already have the the three, three the, uh, holy and plus the the pally. They really don't bring much other than their undead damage, but I don't think they get any of the relics or anything until later on, right? So for prog, not really necessary. I think they're just an overall. I think you bring. I don't know. And then also the the auras in the group the group auras, <clears throat> I think they're really solid. Uh, can I bring can I bring, can I bring up the option so, of vests for the tank? Because uh, I think it's valuable to talk about. No, bro, this motherfucker, bro. Like no no no. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I think you hate it, but I'm saying genuinely because it's there to heal the tank for pro. Price. It's melee. Well, bro. no. It's, oh they bring that much value when you're healing five people, like um, or four other people, like on Renashery. If you're doing it just to heal one person, well, they're it all doesn't have enough value. And you already have four healers plus one rest token, and you're taking away so much damage from that shadow not being three with all the other buffs. It's but, just yeah, not worth it. Honestly. It's just not worth. It. Now, the question would be: Is should we have the prot run kings? Hunters now get to open up their chest or yeah. marksmen. And then that third paladin can now bring self. Well, I rather have a hunter, DPS most likely that runs kings one for the raid than the red. Yeah, and you can I just, would think. Yeah, you still kings. kings. Yeah, an extra hunter. I can. All right, I see. I see. I'm with you on that. If you bring an extra hunter, I guess you're right. Like fuck the pally, bring an extra hunter, an extra warrior. Should we do? Cracked we're gonna be. You, you do have the better. advantage of kings, like. If the hunter dies, you lose that buff. But with kings, you only lose the yeah, buff. Would you do a BM hunt? <laughs> would you say BM hunter? True. So they can like uh, it's more free to do shit than marksman. Oh, that's a really good point, Kel. Oh, that's Which a really was? good point that Kel just made. I'm a huge fan of production. If you're one hunter games. that's rocking lions, if he dies, your whole raid just lost ten percent stats. Right, as you opposed have to better as on the lion side. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Great. feral right. rest of looking at this properly. I don't know. I don't think you look at it that way, because then you can make that same point for any other class, right? If the pally, yeah. if the tank pally dies, you don't have a tank, right? Yeah, very Correct. specific scenario that would rarely ever happen. But if yeah, I, I see where Cal's coming from though. When does the hunter specifically die, <laughs> and no, and not anyone else? True. True. Yeah, no, the hunter's blue. usually the. Well, if we're going to be doing all the mechanics... That's why I was saying, I think bringing but... a third hunter for BM... I do agree. <clears throat> oh, no, I, think... Or I think that last spots are just basically... Cl like, what do we think is in the most damage, honestly? There's, there's nothing else... And the answer for. is... Chat? Brown boys. Brown. The warriors up in there. 
Whoever that guy is, that's a smart dude. Alright, let's talk about the range for now. Actually, let's talk about the melee for the, um, for the mud hut. Where do- no, like I said, well, yeah. What do we need? What are we gonna add in the mud huts? I guess you could add an extra few warriors. Man. Yeah, warriors or rogues. I really think add rogues first raid are gonna be really good because they can get all their weapons and stuff right before yep. raid. Their best Put weapons. the enhancement at the top so my RCD is fine. I mean, what do you Warrior think you too, between baby. melee Warrior hunter too. and rogue though? Who does more damage? Um, I think yeah, it's melee some, hunter. Add some, add some melee hunters and shit in there, bro. Yo, Horde is beautiful with how how open their melee is. You can add now. You can add two more, and you're still chilling. What else are we gonna add in there? Hmm. Yes. Probably another warrior. Yeah. Bring another warrior. Fuck it. Throw another one in. Probably. Honestly, another another then, rogue. I, I think rogues are actually like you said. I think they're gonna be really good in terms of damage wise. Yeah. Sure. Would they For put what? themselves in the same group? No. 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 For the honor among there. thieves. Two separate groups. Two separate groups, eh? Why do you bring a rogue? Think they're damaged. Rogue's gonna be really good first, yeah. first raid. I'm telling you. Yeah, but if we're looking at that that three piece and that's legit on on the warriors. No, it's uh, frog though. This, this is, is frog. This is frog. You're right. Yeah, but warrior gets well, their weapon. That's what I yeah. too. Just put up. I would, a I would agree with there. that. Put a BM hunter. You said the warriors get their pre best easily. Yeah, I, I'm already pre best basically. I gotta get a thrash blade. I'm good. Actually, right. more so. Just swing by and go. Yep. So, this is looking good. Now let's let's think. We need a druid in this fucking horde simply for Mark of the Wild and an innervate and res. a battle res. So let's throw in a boomkin somewhere, a restokin somewhere. So that yeah, those that those sense. druids aren't crying. Well, you want three, you want a three. boomkin and an elemental in group three. Agreed. Let's put an elemental in there too. Maybe move the demonology warlock down and just put all of the the shamans right at the tip top. Get an Ellie into the group three, and then a resto put them up to group four top. And I mean, is feral? I I understand that enhancement shamans bring one fury, but are feral druids just not brought at all on horde? Not unless they're better damage than enhancement. Yeah, Why though? But... DPS is. You know what? Actually, I was thinking. Part. What I was really thinking with the ferals is uh, the level. So. The Pharaohs is just cap at 50, right? So they're going to get a better win period than enhancement. Cause True. Because they're like at level 42 or something. But they, you got to also kind of take into factor of just enhancements probably going to be doing way more damage. But what was the one Feral uh, tier set that we were looking at? So that was looking they get the Crowd Pummeler, spicy. just the item for Crowd Pummeler. They also get the Helm. 30%. Every time they shred, they, they get 30% chance to... Uh... Or whatever, thirty percent reduction well, in shape shift. So that's gonna stuff be for a prog. It nice... would be this thing for prog, which is uh, what you. No, no, they probably wouldn't oh, even have right, this because yeah. Emerald Warden's honored, and we don't know where you're gonna get this from. A good player that plays a lot is gonna get it before your first raid. Yeah. Like most players won't have it first raid. Um. But I do think um, in the beginning for prog, I don't think Horde brings any pharaohs, but later on. For for parses, I think they do for the wind fury, the enhanced wind fury. Yeah, pretty much that I think. Okay, so you wanted Rusto King in group five, so you don't want to give any of them crit. I think you put them in. I agree. Three, four. No, I put it in group three. Okay, so we've got four spots left for Alliance and three spots left for Horde. You're gonna need another fire Agreed. mage for both for scorch. Yep. And you're gonna need another warlock Mr. for lock. Curse of elements. We're not gonna have that from the fist anymore. Uh, you get the rune though, but bring the second lock regardless. Yeah, I would just bring the second lock. Agreed. Well, it could be a flexion lock. Oh. I. <laughs> no, <laughs> nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Let's think about this. I no think we bring another mage. Affliction. For Alliance, I think you bring another mage. Maybe. Dude, Frost Mage. Another mage would work. Because if this... Um, I, I think, thought about I would... it. I'll put the... 
It's I not. Think not. I mean, it's not Even bad. Code agrees. He's, he's not. He's not wrong. But I don't think anyone's geared. I don't think with Prague, I don't think anyone's geared properly for Frost Mage, whereas a lot of their gear was designed to be fire. You know what I mean? So I think you'd more yes. likely bring another fire. Yeah, the more I thought about it, the more I think it's, it should be the fire for the extra Scorch, because now they won't be spamming Scorch as their main filler anymore because yeah. of the level ranks. So now you're going to want to get that Scorch. If they had a Frost Mage, though, yeah, if there's any the fights with ads as well as just trash in general, they want to, they can get improved Blizzard, like a point improved Blizzard, because let's be honest, they don't use all of their points for complete damage. They totally have room to get a little bit of improved Blizzard. That'll help with that. Um, as well as just natural slows. You're right. Um, you're right, but if anything for those fights, you could just boost back into that one of the fire majors. True. But majority of the fights would are you target. would you say fight? What if I did fire frost? So like they have they would have both just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Um, last spot. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. I know you want. I know you expected me to say this. I don't think it is a shot. I I I I I don't think simply what, because what you have a holy pal a holy priest. There's already three priests. Well, you give horde the second yeah. mage, right? And then you give. I mean, what are our options? Mage or lock? Well, if you're giving right. real quick, if you're giving you horde the second mage, are we switching around anything for group three, or are we just screwing over a mage in terms of crit? Yeah, the mage gets screwed there. What does Ellie give to the cat to the group? Totems. Uh, totems. They use, like there's like a totem. Spring. Yeah, but anything specific for the the casters. I think mana spring is the big one for the fire mage. Is that oh. straight from the? Oh well, then you would put one of the locks out of that group then. No. Right? No, you wouldn't. No, yeah, Horde is kind of Horde is kind of screwed. So Horde, the melee groups in Horde are much more freeing, whereas uh, and, and their their casters are kind of more fucked. Well, you you only the lose the if you only lose the Boomkin buff. I mean, that's you would probably put the rest of Kin into Group Five because I'm oh, sorry, Group Four, because uh, it gives the crit to the healers, and I believe a few of the spells that they want is based off a of crit for the shield. So I, I would put the Ellie into group five. Maybe group I would five. put the Ellie into group five. I would. I agree with that. I think. Yeah, exactly. Well, Prague, right? but, Prague. But hold on. But now you need totems for that that group. Though. Uh, you need totems in group yeah. uh, four, three. It's, whatever the hell. If it's only mana totem, I mean, maybe for Prague. Oh, it's yeah, more yeah, than just nature, that. There's nature, like, nature, nature is totem. this. Like, there's just so much shit, bro. And there's the, also the, the totem that gives you the, the only because this is Prague. Keep the keep the Ellie in there. I think you just, I think you keep both and you get rid of one of the fire mages, honestly. I mean, do you throw a boomkin? Like a raw boomkin? You, you would get rid of one of the locks before the mage, right? Uh, no, because they still apply the yeah. curse. Say again? They still apply the curse. What you curse, mean? yeah. Curse of Breath, Curse of Valley, Curse of Shadows. Oh, I'm saying out of the group, not out of the, out of the raid. Yeah. Um, yeah, but... It's kind of troll to get rid of one of those casters, to be honest, because they're not getting any buffs, and then do they are they really needed for the root? But what raid buffs are they losing here? They they, lo they would lose the totems, but they're, they're losing also the moving in aura, right? Demon pack. That's the one. Well, they won't lose totems because they're gonna go to the rest of the group anyways. They're losing the de their demon pack. They lose um, five percent crit from the boomkin, or three percent crit rather. Yeah, but they're losing that already right now is what I'm saying because the rest those in in eight. Yeah, yeah, you can't four, you right? can't have that in group five. It has to be in the, the caster group the resto. So, the resto, right? Yeah, I would I would swap a, the resto and the destro lock. Because the destro, uh, I guess not, right? The demo demonology yeah. lock is what? That's a tank. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's giving pack. Oh, three tank. Uh, it's is three demonology main tank enhancement off tank again. Demonology main tank. Prot, Paladin, off tank, and then Fury Prot is like the third tank if it's needed. It's like in Fury, unless they need the third tank, they switch to Prot. Got you, got you, got you. Um, yeah, I guess this for this for um, this for Prague, and then you would swap the Resto and the Ellie for uh, Farm. That's pretty. I think you'd yeah, get rid of one of the fire majors, think... honestly. Just out of the group. What if, like, not even what if it goes I just get rid Frost? Of it. I mean, that doesn't really change it much, does it? Yeah. Mm -mm. 
You could always go at home. We're all nah. Healing. For all healing. You know how rogues were in phase two? That's what arcane mages are for us in phase three. Pretty much. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm almost leaning towards like put a full boomkin in group three and put the rest of the game in group four. We're probably going to get, yeah, I don't know. Eventually you'll get down rest. to two or three healers. It is, an, yeah, actually that would give them another yeah, beer we'll be, as we'll it is be prog actually. I actually agree with that. Do that and then put another druid in so they have two BRSs. And then both groups get the crit. You lose out nice. on the fire mage, but again, it's progs. It's progs. I don't know. It's, I don't know if there's a room for the alley, to be honest, for the horde team. Well, no, you need the totems. You I think you need the two. I think you need two the mages. I think you need the mages, bro. Two mages. Do you really need the totems? I don't think you need the totems. Nature protection is going to be so good. I can't. Good it, one, it's just the. There's more. All of like the nature dragons are literally the end of the raid, which means they're going to be harder. And I, there's going to be something that that nature protection po totem is going to be insane for. It's a good point. Then it keeps your casters alive. Mm. It's just hard. Let's 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 pause for a second here. Let's go back to alliance because we still got an empty slot here. What are we filling it with? I think same deal. We put balance in group three, put the rest of the in four. Yeah. I was trying to yeah. tell you guys this for a minute. I think that's just where we need to land, unfortunately. Because I either like either do that or you, or or you put the shadow. I don't care. You either or. That's kinda like you you have an empty slot, you yeah, fill it with what you see. What you what you see. I mean fit. shadow's gonna have no value yeah. in four. So if you want to do that, you have to squeeze value out of shadow in group three. Yeah, our nine slot. This feels like our nine slot right now with the ten man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Dudes, bring up rest of I again. like this. I like shadow. that. If you take out the shadow, take it out. This is. I like how we have it like this. We have an empty spot. You put the X factor. The right question there. mark. This is just a fill. Right? I, I, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Man, right? I think, I I think we've talks. perfected the comp as yeah. much as we can. Yeah, I think right? guys is right. And every single raid isn't going to be able to, like, put together this exact comp anyway. Everybody's going to always have that, like, friend yep. or main raider that has to go there anyway. So, that's like a fill slot. And I, think I, it's would, okay I would take out the rest of kin that. also. I'd take it out in the horde spot, too. So, and you're saying it's, your a DPS, it's a DPS healer flex? Exactly. That's just whatever yeah. it is, it is. You could, you like, could if, you're, that. If, you're, if, you, if you have three uh, warlocks that are your... Like main raiders, you just throw a warlock in there. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you have, caster or healer or hybrid. Because every base is covered here, really, and it's for prog, so you're not min maxing. That's like your, yeah. that's your flex spot basically. Now, now put the two shamans in group, uh, the one and two. Put them to the bottom. My OCD. Just trigger. send it put them to the top. Think about putting a warlock in the group. For now put them, put the marksman hunters to the. That's where the rogues are. Spot. It would be like that. Yeah, put the marksmen there. No, copy it like you have in the, the up above. Where am I? Put the marksmen's down below where the rogues are. Like try like to that. copy the alliance one as much as we can, so we see it, Phys physically see it. So, and then put the even yeah, though this okay. is a tank. So what do we do? We we're putting in an extra rogue instead of a prop pally, right? I just want to see it visually, like. We have two law, so we have to have a. See that fucking the caster groups no bueno in horde. The casters kind of get cucked in horde. The melee kind of get cucked in alliance. This is how it goes. I don't think yep. the caster is that bad. Group three is fine. I wish yeah, they uh. I mean, it's more than good. Does anyone else agree that SOD should have had shamans and palis cross? Cross mingled? Like both on both sides? I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't think so. Why not though? Why not? Like it's literally TBC I, is when it happened. I mean, we're they're getting, already flattened yeah. everything out, right? Like you get wind fear. Yeah, but you don't get, you, get, yeah, you like, don't get nature. Do all this this, oh, I guess the hunters, but. Right. I mean, no, I, I think, like, I, I like the fact that druids have wind fury. It just makes it so that you don't need, need a fucking enhancement shaman, but we should still have had them. 
You know what I mean? I don't know. Special it just gives more to the feral. I'm just gonna like, damn. do that, right. and I'm just gonna write. Just like how, spot. just like how hunters have kings, right? It's like hunters have kings. So now you can choose between having a third paladin or or a hunter that rocks king. That's what I think. But in my opinion, for alliance, hear me out. Take the flex spot out. Put the beast master in the flex spot. Another one, or take it out. Be your mechanic guy. No, no, sorry. For alliance, for alliance. Yeah, take out the flex spot real quick, and then move the BM there, one and now add in order. a a, re a rep pally. Okay, I will add in a rep. That, yeah. Add in a rep pally. There you go. Now the BM guy is doing all your mechanics. Another group, group gets an aura okay. too. Yeah, exactly. I like this. If, okay, you could take even the BM out. You could just say, "There's your X no. factor." You don't need uh, the BM. Oh yeah, we just do. We'll right. just do flex. So you take him out. Yeah. Okay. I think this is pretty Gucci. And then I would take. I don't know. Well, because BM in in group six, take him out, and then just because one put of these healers three. is gonna have to run. Um. First of all, they can't run because obviously they're all priests. Like there's three priests. One of them has to run Eye of the Void. Instead of divided gaze, and then one of them one has to run um, a monkey eye instead of paramending. Yeah. And the other disc would. And then the whole way would just run pure human. In that flex fight, you can also technically have an affliction lock that runs DT for the. For the runs what? True. Bonic pack for the healers. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Now you're thinking, bro. Think now you're we thinking. Would get an anarchy on our hands. Wait, read it out to it, me. What's demonic? Your pet's pack critical strikes apply a demonic pact effect to your party for f members for 45 seconds. Demonic pact increases spell damage and healing by 10. Yes, by 10% of your spell damage. Oh my god! Code. Or 60 divided by 2, or oh, 30, whichever was higher. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, 100%, bro. What? What, what the fuck were we thinking? Oh, an extra lock it, in that it doesn't pit. bring as much it, value as you think it does. Really? 10% healing? How, oh, I guess, sorry, 10% of his spell damage. It's, it's like probably 60 healing. But the way that I mean, scaling works for healing yeah. is, I mean, big heals, you're going to be just overhealing more. Right, Renew right now, is going to get huge value out of it. We do too. Right now, my demonic pack is 44. Well, yeah, it's probably going to reach 60 then. Okay. Walk into the raid, it'll probably be 60. Yeah. And plus yeah. the raid, the, the world. I can up, see that more, being a flick then. You're gonna get a lot more. Oh. Uh, I see I see you put in the flick yeah. there, and now you can actually get rid of one of the the other warlocks in the other group. And yeah. Plus the you get there you go. Well, I, I know right now in the warlock right now in the warlock discord it's a huge debate on Destro between a flick. Yeah, I don't know why we, I do completely disagreed with this, but this is what we had for the warriors or for the warlocks. I said I disagree with this being in C tier, but it's because Affliction what, is a DPS also and does like 250 DPS less or whatever, right? Yeah, but the, a lot of the runes are not are just coming on now, right? Doc Crit, like one that makes as well as crit. Tvalgard, Sobel Affliction. And then, an Affliction build right okay. now, there's an Affliction build right now that does anyway. 51 DPS less than the Destro build. But because you're Affliction, you're able to bring Demonic Pack, which will be more damage yes. overall for the raid. Can I? Can we adjust this then? I mean, I'm. Can we adjust this then? I'm going Destro personally. At so, least bring it up to B tier. A fucking is actually going to be. So it all also, depends on how in your comps right now you have a demo tank. Exactly. Yeah. So, so it all depends on how good the demo tank is. So if the demo tank is going to be shit for P three. Then you're going to want to bring that. I think. Yeah. I think especially for the healers too, even. But a function lock. Right now we're we're projecting demo to be good. I think we did that. Necessary for raids. Yeah, it, it, one of the big things about Demo Tank is just how much magic damage there actually is. Because if there's a decent amount of magic damage immolation aura, it's just ten percent. Do those? Off of that. Right. Mm -hmm. And then if, and then if they don't do the Soul Link, uh, nerf, which for some reason was data mined, but there's been no confirmation from that, then Warlocks will be the B. Real quick. Did those data or did those not data mind, did those uh sims include curse of shadows? Because currently affliction would have to run obviously unstable affliction. 
and oh, uh, they, what Blizzard should do oh, sorry, is have right. warlocks be good boys. Sorry, sorry, my, my bad. Stable yeah, my bad. Boys, no, no, they would have to do, sorry, curse of agony. <laughs> my bad. Wait, I want to hear Jervis's thought about good boys. What? No, for real. What Blizzard should do, or what, what Warcraft Log should do to have uh, warlocks be good boys is have affliction uh, parse separately, like it always did. That's Warcraft yeah. logs. Did, did those Sims have Curse of Shadows because the Blitzen's gonna be would be using Curse of Agony? Okay. Yes, it includes Curse of Shadows. It's assuming that the Priest yeah. rune okay. is going to apply it. That's the thing. So you'd still need another. Yeah, lock you, I mean you have wreck. tongue. Or sorry, this does tongue. This does elements. Okay. This does fucking shadow. So there's wreck. And then you have another one in case this one's doing as a male, so. Wait, it does tongue? The so priest element? one does either tongues, elements, or shadow, or yeah. or all of them. We don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna it's going to do all of them. It's just going to do yeah, like a I'm... triple Okay, beam, well then it brings tongues, so. elements, and shadow, so. Tongues is crazy. That's it. Yeah, what does it do again? <laughs> Like increases the cast time. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Well, by twenty five percent. Well, we don't. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, we used to use that on uh, some shit in MC, like one boss. That was it. Yeah, I wish so I could. Yeah. I wish I could find the Some link that had like the actual curses, like that said required, and it had like the numbers or whatever. Which warlock's going doom? Probably mini, right? When do you get doom, mini? But okay, so how we? Ah, oh, shit. I mean, you already know. Do we like it's adding affliction to this fifth spot for group five, or sorry, group four for the healers? Yeah, sure. Fuck I it. think it actually works. Get a, yeah. give a little bit of extra healing. That's your X factor, though, right? That's your that's your extra rest of yeah. kin. That's your extra shadow priest. That's your that's you can even go an arcane mage. We were talking about, right? Like that's just your X Ooh. factor spot. I Is think it... if you just remove that spot and call it your flex, I think yeah. we we wrap up the video and we'd be. Is improve the curse of elements a thing in class? Take a TBC thing? Yeah. TBC. When it gets shadow uh, and elements. Wait, wait, wait. Now, I want, before we end this video, before we end this video, I want to talk about resto druids because they're they're crying in wait, the Wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, I just want to ask like... for the sims for reflection lock. Do they ever do sims for two target bonuses? Because there's at least three of them no, in Sunken Temple. Right and at that point... And if it's a 50 DPS difference, I guarantee you Affliction pulls ahead. As of right now, no. The Sim is only... Well, we're getting dual spec too, right? True. So, we just put lock overall, or no? Because I'm just going to be warrior. I might well, go don't they build like, yeah, I fire damage, and then that would kind of fuck over going Affliction? Yeah, so that would... I don't yeah, think what? they could really do that without building... Yeah, gearing would be an gearing, issue. Gearing, you mean? Oh, you just, yeah, you just carry a set with True. you. True. Yeah. I have a quick question. It might be unnormal it. for the casters, but us brown boys got 500 items in their bag at all times. Okay. Yo, Jervis, how how certain are are you that warriors can be fucking nuts? I'm as certain as are the armor values less how than certain, 3,000. How certain were you that they, they were going to be nuts for prog in phase two? Because that didn't come true. Not at all. I hated warrior. In, before phase two and leveling in phase two was trash, absolutely terrible. I thought rogues were OP because Sketcher was doing it 900 DPS in arms, like oh. in uh, SM arms. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think they'd be juicy. So, are we good with this uh, comp? Before we before we close this door, right? Let's talk about the rest of your. Can you go back to what they just got? The changes like, un announced. Um. Yeah. I just want to see real quick yeah. because there's a lot of them that were upset and I just want to give them their, their time to shine here. So, your swift men now causes efflorescence, healing all party members within 15 yards of the swift men target location or a bunch of fucking nerd shit. And then what's to say? Every one second for 15 seconds. From two so, seconds. What's efflorescence again? That's Think of it as a worse wild growth. Yeah. Oh, it's right down yeah. below here. Kills all party members within 15 yards Excellent. of the target for... It's, it's wild growth, but instead of, like, right, so whatever it is, 5 to 8 to... I don't know, whatever. What is Swift it Men pops your... Swift Men is... 
It's very bottom yeah. of. It like consumes. It like makes all of your rejuve oh, happen at once or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, this isn't even that good because it's like a three minute cooldown, isn't it? The swift man cooldown? Um, it's not three minutes. Nope. Maybe a minute. It's, it's There's a minute? Oh, maybe I'm thinking of nature swift. It's a 15 second cooldown. But, but it requires 20% right, so of your base battle. Let's look at this shit. So, consume. All right, hold on. Let's just read it, though. No, but that's whatever, though. Is it? Is it actually bad? It's, that's a lot of mana. And that's the whole, that's my whole issue with Resto Druids, is they can pump. They can do Wild Grilled, they can Swift Men, they can do all of this stuff. They can Nourish Spam. They're on a short Their mana timer. is just a ticking time bomb. Yeah, fucking hell. R.I.P. Well, I mean, don't they stack Spirit in haste? Yeah, spirit's not enough if they're not doing damage, so they have to deal damage. So now you have like immediately well, a hybrid healer. Uh, three set. Fog, which is yeah. I was so, so then yeah. Russell can is just. It, I was gonna say well now they. Can, an I was gonna say well now they can crit juice. heals and look at like the mana back, but that, they need the three piece for that, so that doesn't really matter for Prog. Damn. Well, I tried Russell Druids. Make sure you okay. subscribe from the channel. Thank you. <laughs> and you'll be still great. What um, how how much was that haste buff that the that the ferals got? It's, it's the same as yeah. It's the same as pummeler. Yeah, but they're not gonna have it for Prague. But they they're not they're not gonna have it for Prague because it's from honored with the dream wardens and the likelihood. I mean, if you do it like on if you raid on one day, you might be able to reach honored before you go into the raid, but like. It's week one. What are they trying to parse week one? All right, how long was this video, Momo? I think it's we wrapped hour. up a bunch of shit, man. We weren't just doing raid comp. We talked about all the different changes. Talked about the tier sets. Yeah. All the video, I think. So hey? let's wrap it up. If you liked the video, make sure you comment, subscribe. Let me know if you like the format or if you don't. If you have any questions... Again, leave them in the comments below, and have a good night. Peace.